me fumble Sierra Leoneans them. Um, today happened for be Sunday, November the 11th, 2018. My attention just done drawn um, to Andrew Kelly. This man we na being SLPP wanna be flag bearer and um, he left SLPP and joined um, Kande Yumkela and he become a, a running mate to Kande Yumkela. Um, I just see he post um, something, uh, one group where I happen for being at the group and attack me personality just because I mention a name as being the consultant for the drive, Namina Drive, the roadway lead to President Julius Madabio in Os, Najuba. You know, me fumble them, it's about time some of them politicians they are, we want to lead this country here. Lord, they expose them. And me not go stop for expose them people they are, we want come for mix alone, you know, become a laughing stock like I did be so. Andrew Kelly, now he's not the consultant for this road. And he don't be on record. Because all I've been doing, I mention him, mention him. Now I can't go in depth. It don't be on record. Um, this may not drive. We're in a residential drive. Not to even road. Uh, not to street. Not to main road. Not, and, uh, the drive not even lead to another street. We start in the lead to another street, in fact. In, in the end drive, for goodness sake. Now, you know, the consultant, it don't be on record for be the most expensive road. Like we say, the road there, pass all the road and at the wall. And are one of the most expensive roads right now at the wall. Because now over one million US dollars. Then about nine billion two hundred million. About that, nine point two billion leons. Now in we country they can pay for make that road day. We lead to the president in us. You know, this like I tell you now is shameful. This is pathetic. And it's just disgusting. And you see this man, just I mentioned his name, he come attack me and uh, my personality. And I don't used to this because maybe don't tell people in this country, after God Almighty, I worship my country. So some of them think they are, it just they boil down and say, yes, I did do my work as an opposition leader in the country. And I did do my work for at least talk for the people of this country. Yeah. Now you don't go do the consultancy and for make the approve over one million dollar road, nine point um, two, almost two, nine point two billion leons. For me to make a few meter road, very few meter road, me fumble them. Now that you do. And then you get the audacity for can attack me personality. Shame on you. Really shame on you, Andrew Kelly. It's so petty. You really go below the belt. Not also for heat. At least. If you admit when you do something, you forget the courage for admit. You're not the consultant. Why you want to deny? You know, what he mentioned, Andrew Kelly, if you want to read what he said, he said, in being done, they do this consultancy, and then road they are, this may not drive now, logical extension. If I'm on you know, because we, the educated people, are fool the people, them. They, they use words them for make them, make them feel safe and go able to fool the people them. It's a logical extension. There is no logical extension that we lost them of the country. We lost them clear. We procurement lost them. They're extremely clear. Anything you want to make a road, especially with over $1 million, then kind of amount there, yeah? That's a small money. You for really advertise them. You for put them out. And for the consultancy, the contractor where they give the road, all them things there, they for don't show out and let people and bid for them. But you know, do a more. New administration is say, oh, not just a logical extension. Mr. Logical um, a Consultant, I want to you say, we no need logical corruption as alone. Because that's not that you, you talk on when you feel see they can attack me. You just don't naked yourself. You just don't expose yourself. You know, if you've been quiet, maybe people are just, okay, Andrew Kelly, because, but you just don't show 
the people of this country say, you, Andrew Kelly, then give you an extension for consult with road them where they're not even um, put out there. And, um, and logically, like you, you, you name them, now corruption. And now me the audio, let me take this further. Openly tell us how much they pay you for them, this consultancy, especially for them in a drive. That one point uh, um, some million dollars, that nine uh, billion, um, almost 9.2 billion leons. You tell me how much money you get out of that money day. You know, now the audio. We need for show people of this country, we're not politician. You want to be president, you want to be vice president, you go around under Yumkela. Now tell the people of this country yeah, the true meaning. If you're really serious, this now you have the talk. Politicians them where they take money from the people of this country yeah, for ready for tell the people them how much money would they pay you now? This is so clear. Okay, now me they pay you. Now we they pay you. Why would they hide anything there? If you're not a politician, come out. Now, me not the consultancy, now this money me been get, now this me get, now this other. Then you don't do a record, Mr. Andrew Kelly, for be the consultant, we um, consult for construct a few meter road, we don't cost we country, we don't cost we people them of we country over one million US dollars. We now over nine billion we salon money. You know, we need for stop. And this, like I tell you, me no go relent and no go be quiet and I go continue for tell people of this country. So, Mr. Andrew Kelly, you feel say attacking Kamarimba go do things and well for you. Believe in me, you just don't go now the boiling pot. And um, I go now they can't begin now take the cover, let people know exactly Urana Andrew Kelly. But for now, I want to stop so far on you, but I want to talk about something again where really they pain me. Me fumble them, Una know we President Julius Madabio, they openly, they talk about uh, this free education. They provide textbooks, they provide uniforms, they provide all of this stuff for you picking them. This is now November this. It's now way back. I mean, a few months ago, you don't promise this thing. Sam. Now, I tell even the parents, they say, may they not, may they not buy um, textbooks, them. May they not buy this. And go provide them. My family, as I speak to them, up to now, no picking not in that country. We government don't provide one textbook. No picking. They still they on this yuki yuki business. In fact, now one Ghanaian company, now six lot. Of textbooks and other one Ghanaian company according to my understanding and papers that I don't see they end up win about three of them lots there we amount to about million millions and then Sierra Leone company or two alone company win two I don't know about the other one so they sound yuki yuki where they want give this Ghanaian company all the procurement there they want to do soul sourcing like when they say soul sourcing a one green person nobody say oh look give this person but then after now they advertise them, salon them don't come. You know, this up to now, then they punish you key, you key, you key, you key. And as I speak to now on this Sunday, November the eleventh, no school picking, no get any textbook yet from this two president. I be don't tell people in this country say this free education now gimmick. The reason why I say this, and I measure them like you know how it are. It just feel like Julius Madabi, you go by Motoka, or you go by Motoka, you pack her, and then you don't get money for fear you don't get money for do oil change, you don't get. So, any Motoka way car or any person way pass, you stop her, you say, hey, Give me one liter, no, hey, give me two liter, no, I put na this Motoka, I go, me destination. You get beaucoup destination for go because we get beaucoup schools them. That's exactly how this free education they work. At. Then, count them, they try for bigger, bigger. For me then, you know, that's not how you're supposed to do these things. The president, if we don't call on them, if we don't build infrastructures and force in this country, the school infrastructures them, build more schools, expand some other schools them, for low try for get a one shift, low try for reduce the number of school picking them in each classroom, you know, for more than 40. Each classroom in Sierra Leone, not for more than 40. The minimum for be between 30 and 40. 
That's in a dirty for don't do for one, two years. We don't come into governance. And then after that, now you implement this thing. That's and you go don't get the textbooks them, you go don't get enough. So say for even get away for other machines of way for manufacture school uniform na, 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 na salon. Not so just for other than China. So all of these things, it takes a creative leader for think that way. They. But like I tell you, I just that this thing they burn me so much. I mean, guts like I tell them that up to now, when I talk to two principals them in a salon, they say they don't get no textbooks for get picking them and then they schools them. You know, this is a shame and it's really shameful and really, really for the president, it's shameful for the administration, it's shameful for we country because this information don't go all over the world. Say we they provide them basic for goodness sake. You know, we're not able to provide that basic even textbook. I not come to uniform or shoes or whatever we didn't say that they get picking them. I mean that the textbooks and force that they talk about we will not able to provide up to now when we don't promise picking them. So me fumble I'm um I can tell them, I want to wish you a blessed Sunday today. And may God continue for bless you you and uh, on our family, and may God continue for bless you country now for share this audio to friends and family and everybody at least make we know little try for make we country once more a better country again mina mohammed kamarimba masare mina the chairman and leader for the alliance democratic party when at the adp god bless you now and may god continue for bless you country